of some, we expect greatness. Delivered often enough, it remains entirely satisfying, even if over time, it loses a sense of the surprise that first made us realize its true measure. Of some, we accept greatness. Relishing in the moments, it is unexpectedly awful. Those who may rise to the occasion and answer opportunities call suddenly become the recipients of our admiration. And with some, we forget greatness. Blessed with an array of talent and the ambition to match, LeBron James has been burdened with the expectations of greatness his entire career, his entire life. No room for failure, no margin for error. These are the scales upon which he has always been judged. But as the avalanche of anticipation of what he still may do is so often allowed to pile upon him, do we sometimes fail to appreciate the amazing heights to which he so often soars? James against Shepard. Tough fall away shot. That's good. LeBron James knocks it down, and that one just may do it. Well, they're out of their seats here in New Jersey, most of them Heat fans. LeBron, under duress, scores again. He is unstoppable. Greatness is a gift which can easily lose its luster when we come to take for granted its unique and singular qualities. At a time when others are wearing down or breaking down, LeBron James is peaking pushing and outperforming nearly everyone who dares get in his way. Yeah, Durant backdoor two-hand jam. LeBron with a steal, the giddy up, and the throw down. And what a shot by Durant over LeBron James. That's Look at that play by LeBron. LeBron will shoot a three. Come on. The ballots are already out. The email boxes have been stuffed by the National Basketball Association League office. So exactly what name will be at the top of the list when people start voting for MVP? These two names will be up there, but who will be all the way up there? It's like looking in a mirror with these guys, except for LeBron, of course, has the edge in assists and his defensive intensity. It is time for Miami Heat basketball on Sun Sports. After the old Hudson two-step, which resulted in two really pride-filled road wins, the Heat return home to close out the home regular season schedule. It's not quite exactly the story you want to focus in on if you're looking at opponents. When you're playing four games in five nights, again, it doesn't matter. Tonight, the Raptors are in place. What gets me excited? Watching LeBron in open court. Oh, my! An exclamation point! Suffer. What motivates me? Coming through for my team when it matters most. LeBron down the lane. He did it again. What gets my juices flowing? The rebound is Joel. LeBron drives in, got the bucket, and draws the foul. Getting on the road. Nothing like getting high. James driving all the way in for the score. LeBron under the rest scores again. He is unstoppable. There's no place I'd rather be seen. On sports. There he is, number six, fresh off that magically delicious performance against the Nets. 17 points to end the game. Nobody else scored for the Heat, yet they still found themselves on the way to victory. That's the hashtag Heat Live. LeBron's playing. Everybody might not be, but LeBron is not in the maintenance program. He'll hit the floor fresh off that dominant performance on Monday night. We'll be right in front of your eyes as the expectations always rise for that man. Time now for the starting lineups brought to you by Cleveland Clinic, Florida. We wish all the best to young Mr. Anderson as he deals with that other number six. Johnson, Gray, DeRozan, and Uzo will be right there trying to help out. As for your Miami Heat, yeah, LeBron James is who I was talking about. Haslam gets a start. Big pit in the middle as the maintenance program continues. James Jones as well getting the start in the backcourt with Mars number 400 for the career. He also had some crushing and critical screens during LeBron's fourth quarter explosion. He told me after the game, 
most of the time, his screens are not called plays. They are reads. He has to make in order to create spaces for the likes of James Wade and other perimeter players. It's nearly time to ball, y'all. Welcome back inside the Heat's house. Tonight, it's game number 61 of this 66-game regular season. And Eric Spolster using a 13th different starting lineup. One that features Dexter Pittman as the Heat starting center. A nice tip of the game being delivered by Papa John's. Our officiating crew assigned by the NBA to work tonight's game, Ron Garrison, Trey Maddox, and the man who will toss up the jump ball, Leroy Richardson. And here on this NBA Wednesday night, we are in a little bolt to that long frame. And both southpaws. LeBron down the lane, double clutching for the score. Which evens the game at 12, four points for James. Forbes, the former University of Massachusetts star who played last year in Denver. Joel with a gorgeous block. And here comes Miller with Anderson on his back. LeBron! You see the, uh, the effect of Mike Miller in the game along with Joel. Joel blocks the shot, keeps it in bounds. Shooting 57% in the first half. Miami at 41%. LeBron underneath, couple of puck fakes, a score, and a foul. LeBron got caught under the rim that time. Gave the little shot fake. Whenever you shot fake inside, you freeze the defender. Watch it again. Get inside, boom, little shot fake. You freeze the defender. As he's coming down, you go up, draw the foul, concentrate, finish the play, try to get the three-point play. Now, what would mean, Eric, is that he'd have home court advantage through at least the first two rounds of the Eastern Conference playoffs. The only team Miami troll, alley oop time. LeBron from Chalmers. That was set up well and finished perfectly. There was eye contact between LeBron and Rio that time. Rio had it all the way. LeBron was on the wing. He went back door. Rio made the perfect pass. LeBron threw it down. First time tonight, the Heat fans get into that play. Look at the in-flight delivery. LeBron with a crusher, but the Raptors still have a four-point lead. Ed Davis with a left hand, and Pittman gobbles up the rebound. Here comes LeBron. Nice pass, oh my! Hard fall for Haslam, but a great setup by LeBron. Oh, there was a foul call here, guys. <laughs> they didn't hit a whistle. Udonis got fouled on the play. What a perfect pass from LeBron, giving it to Udonis exactly when he should catch it. Now Udonis landed on that right shoulder. Also gives Miami the lead, but look how athletic Haslam gets on that throw down. And what a great no-look pass from LeBron. He landed right on that right shoulder. He's flexing it a little bit. Perfect pass. Got fouled on the play. He'll be on the line. You know how strong that young man is. Sunday afternoon and had 22 points and 15 more rebounds in New Jersey on Monday night. As Pittman drives in, he jams and draws the foul. But coach, to finish up the thought on Bosch, if Chris could bottle that and play that physically and rebound that well in the playoffs, he takes the heat to an even more elite level. He's the X factor, Eric. When he plays well, the heat usually win. You know, if you're an opposing coach and you have to have to prepare for this team, the first two guys you look at are LeBron. Forbes at a perfect time. Uh, Gary Forbes with four points. Here comes James through two defenders. Got the bucket, and he beat the clock. And the Heat will take a two-point lead into the dressing room at halftime. How about that for a punctuation mark on a 16-point first half for LeBron James? And Dwayne Wade loved it. He was the first guy off the bench to greet LeBron. They're going to review the play to make sure he got it off before the clock went off. But what a great catch. Then he's got to finish between two defenders. Let's see if he released it before the clock with the, the, the lights go on. Yes, he did, baby. That counts.